pulmonary and systemic circulations. In this picture, you can see different cardiac chambers and also different vessels to and from the heart. About cardiac chambers, here is the right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle and the left atrium. About the vessels to the heart, they are superior vena cava, inferior vena cava carrying venous blood to the right atrium. Here we have pulmonary vein carrying oxygenated blood from the lungs to the left atrium. Then about the vessels from the heart, the right ventricle you can see the pulmonary trunk. In the left ventricle you can see iota. So right atrium, right ventricle, left ventricle and left atrium for chambers of the heart. Pulmonary artery originate from right ventricle and iota originate from left ventricle. Superior vena cava and inferior vena cava empty into right atrium and pulmonary vein empty into left atrium. In this picture, we can compare and contrast pulmonary and systemic circulations. Here, this is the pulmonary circuit. Here is the systemic circuit. The pulmonary circuit consists of pulmonary veins pulmonary artery, two pulmonary artery, right and left, right atrium and right ventricle. The systemic circuit consists of left atrium, left ventricle, iota and systemic veins. The red colored vessels carry oxygenated blood. Blue colored vessels carry deoxygenated blood. Then the violet colored vessels in, are involved in gas exchange. So, pulmonary circuit consists of pulmonary vein, pulmonary artery, right atrium, right ventricle. Systemic circuit consists of iota and systemic veins and the cardiac chambers like left atrium and the left ventricles. Now let us see about pulmonary circulation. Pulmonary circulation carries deoxygenated blood. It carries deoxygenated blood from heart to the lungs and returns oxygenated blood to the heart. So the function of pulmonary circulation is carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs, make it oxygenated and return it to the heart. We have already seen the pulmonary circuit consisting of veins, pulmonary veins, pulmonary arteries, right atrium and right ventricle. This is, this is the left atrium, left ventricle and to the left atrium we can see pulmonary veins empty oxygenated blood. Then this is the capillary in the lungs where gas exchange takes place. Now let us see in detail about pulmonary circulation. So the first cardiac chamber, the right atrium, it receives venous blood and it pumps that blood into the right ventricle through the tricuspid valve. Then the right ventricle, it receives blood from right atrium and it pump or eject the deoxygenated blood or venous blood into the pulmonary trunk through the pulmonary valve. Then the pulmonary trunk then bifurcate into right and left pulmonary arteries. They carry blood to the corresponding lungs for oxygenation. Pulmonary artery carry deoxygenated blood to the lungs for oxygenation. Then comes the lungs. In the lungs, the pulmonary artery further divide into arterioles and capillaries. In the capillaries, carbon dioxide is released and oxygen is picked up during respiration. Thus, the blood becomes oxygenated. Then, the oxygenated blood will be carried by pulmonary veins to the left atrium. Right atrium, it receives venous blood and it ejects blood into the right ventricle. Right ventricle ejects blood further into pulmonary circulation. The pulmonary artery carry this blood to the lungs for oxygenation. In the lungs, oxygenation takes place and the pulmonary veins carry oxygenated blood to the left atrium. Now let us see about systemic circulation. It carries oxygenated blood away from the heart to the body and returns deoxygenated blood back to the heart. This is just opposite of systemic circulation. So 
for a pulmonary circulation. In the systemic circulation, oxygenated blood is carried away from the heart to the different parts of the body and deoxygenated blood is returned to the heart. In the pulmonary circulation, we have seen deoxygenated blood is carried from the heart to the lungs and oxygenated blood is carried to the heart. Here, oxygenated blood is carried away from the heart and deoxygenated blood is returned to the heart. This is the systemic circuit. We have seen already left atrium, left ventricle, iota to systemic artery and the systemic veins returning deoxygenated blood to the right atrium. Details of systemic circulation. Here the receiving chamber is left atrium, receiving oxygen rich blood from the lungs through pulmonary veins. Then also it ejects blood into the left ventricle. The blood received into the left ventricle will be ejected into the aorta through the aortic valve. Left ventricle eject blood into the aorta through aortic valve. The aorta then arches and branches into different arteries to supply upper part of the body. Then also it further branches below the diaphragm into artery to supply the lower part of, parts of the body. So the aorta arches and branches into major artery for blood supply for the upper part of the body and it further branches into artery for supplying the lower part of the body. So, aorta supplies upper and lower part of the body. Then in the body, the arteries branch into smaller arteries, arterioles and finally capillaries. In the capillaries, gas exchange takes place. Means, the oxygen is released into the tissue and carbon dioxide is picked up by the tissue, from the tissues. This, is, this gas exchange is just opposite that happens in lungs. In the lungs, from the deoxygenated de blood, the carbon dioxide is pushed into the pulmonary parenchyma and oxygen is picked up. In the tissues, oxygen is released into the tissues and the carbon dioxide is picked up from the tissues. Then, the blood will become deoxygenated. The deoxygenated blood continues through the capillary which merge into venules. So, all the capillaries after deoxygenation will be merged into venules. Then they unite together form veins and they further unite with the superior and inferior vena cava which drain into the right atrium of the heart. Then from the right atrium, the blood will travel through pulmonary circulation. Once again, the left atrium receives blood from the pulmonary vein and push into left ventricle. From left ventricle, blood is pumped into aorta. Then aorta branches into different arteries to supply upper and lower part of the body. In the body, gas exchange takes place. That is, oxygen is released into the tissues and the carbon dioxide is picked up from the tissues. Then all the capillaries will transform or unite together to form veins which carry deoxygenated blood to the left side of the heart. That is systemic. Thus we have completed both the systemic and the pulmonary circulation. Thank you.